Hello, and welcome to a simple tutorial on using Find and Replace in Garden Planner. So here we have a simple sample plan with a whole bunch of lavender plants. And what we're going to do first is replace the title for these. So you can see they all say lavender when I click on them. And what we'll do is select one of them, doesn't matter which one, do selected objects and pick Find and Replace. And up we'll get this window and we can choose either to replace the title or we can replace the symbol for the plant, but first up we'll replace the title. So we're going to change the name of all our lavender plants to say English lavender, as that's a more correct representation of what we've got in our garden. So you just type it in, click replace, and it will tell you seven replacements made. And then if we go back and click on any of these, they now say English lavender instead of lavender. Much faster than retyping it all yourself. Okay, what about that replace symbol option? So down here, we have some daffodil plants and we've decided in our garden, we're gonna rip them up and replace them with jonquils. So we'll select a daffodil, doesn't matter which one, find a replace, and we go down to the symbol. And what we do is we just drag over the symbol we wanna replace it with, in this case, the jonquil symbol, and then just click replace and voila, you have the symbols all replaced with the new one. If we go and have a look, they're now all replaced with that symbol. And it'll be changed in the 3D view as well. Um, but it still does say daffodil, so let's select again, find and replace, and up here we'll, you can see the current title is daffodil, we'll make the new title jonquil, and then just as before, click replace, replacements made, and now if we select any of these, they all say jonquil. That's it. That's as simple as that to do find a replace in Garden Planner. Um, I hope you find this useful and we'll have more tutorials again soon. Thank you very much.